Hello and welcome back to What's Bubbling at Zim. I'm Dr. Abstract and in this bubbling we're going to continue to take a look at what's new in Zim 017. So we've looked at the little chatbot, we've looked at Rive. If we go into Zim 017 up here we have looked at the cat and that's concave physics. Let's take a look. The last three are just parameters so let's look at all three of these ones together. So we have this automatically opening up to a location. And also, if we then go to British Columbia, it collapsed Ontario and showed British Columbia. So those are new uh, parameters. And then we will go to the indicator. So the indicator now has a different image or a different display object for something that is selected. Before, we were just using a heart and then um, com uh, alphaing the heart to different alpha. And now, so it was like faded out and then it would be brought in, but here are actually different indicators. And so we'll see how that can be done. And then the last one is Zim Pages is can be set to be continuous optionally. So we just went back to the beginning there. All right, and likewise, we can go past the beginning and go backwards through that. So that's optional, but um, very nice. Almost looks like an accordion now. Accordion can handle multi-line things, but anyway. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so let's take a look at the accordion code then. So that is, my apologies, we'll bring it back to here. There it is, automatically opening up. And we could automatically open up before. So here's Zim017. Here's the accordion that we've had shown before. We simplified it down a little bit. Uh, that's a lot of accordion data, isn't it? And then here's the accordion itself. And afterwards, we're toggling open this. And let's just talk about that in a moment. We could also use open up at a certain index number from up above. But here's how the accordion works in general. So we'll close Canada. And if I open up um, Europe, that's zero. If I then open up Paris, that would be 0, 1, 2, but Paris doesn't open. So let's open up Canada, 0, 1. So 1 would come first. Then if I want to open up Ontario, it would be 0, 0. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm trying to count. I pressed it. 0, 1, 2. Okay, so that would open up Ontario. 0, 1, 2, 3. Uh, 0, 1. So 1 followed by a three would open up British Columbia. So should we try that? Let's try opening up British Columbia. Oops. <laughs> Almost a three. So zero, three would open up. So an accordion, its live indexes, eh, its live indexes are only what you see. So zero, one. Uh, Oh, wait, that was supposed to open up Ontario. Ah, we're, we're um, sorry, we're not looking at the one here. <laughs> when it started counting it again. There we go. It's okay, it opened up British Columbia, just as we expected. All right, let's try opening up um, Quebec. Uh, I think you would see that that would be a four. But if we open up two, then it would open up the first level of Ontario. Zero, one, one, it opened up Canada. Zero, one, two, it opened up Ontario but Hamilton's not open. Now, if we wanted to open up Hamilton, 0, 1 to open up Canada, 0, 1, 2 to open up Ontario, 0, 1, 2, 3 to open up Hamilton. <laughs> Just happens to be 1, 2, 3. Uh, and so then we're back to opening up Hamilton. All right, so that almost can be easier. You, you calculate that a little bit better than uh, index 12, I think, of this is a little bit awkward. I don't even know how that works. Zero, one, two, three. No, because it's like this. It's zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, <laughs> nine, ten, eleven, twelve would get us to done. It, you know, something like that. So it's it's not counted in this order. It's counted at the the roots and then one up and then one up so it can be a little bit tricky to do that anyway all right uh good what else about it though the close others okay let's turn that off so i'm now not calling the close others and 
<clears throat> so there's Ontario's open. If I open up British Columbia, British Columbia and Ontario is open. I can open up Europe, but now Europe, Canada, Ontario, Hamilton is all open. All right, so those things don't automatically close each other. I kind of, I mean, this is the way that it was built initially, and I think that's fine. If I want to go into British Columbia, I'm welcome to close Ontario and go into British Columbia. But there was a request to have the others closed, so we added that. Quite complicated. Um, and thank you, Vishwash, for the request on that. I think it was you. And there we go. So now it's opposite. Oh, well, if Canada is open, then we open up British Columbia. There's British Columbia. If we open up Quebec, then British Columbia closes and we get to Quebec. If I open up Europe, all of Canada closes and we get to Europe. OK, so uh, that's available for you as well. All right, the next one then. Next one is uh, these little guys. So how did we get the image to show up there? a different image for the selected items of an indicator. So here's the indicator. Well, let me just go back to accordion. Did I turn that on? I did. Okay. So back in the indicator here, the indicator type is sad. The selected indicator type is happy. And that's it. So we have a new parameter, the selected indicator type. That's it. Okay. And now the selected indicator is a different emoji. All right, next one. Oh, bring this back. Next one is the pages. So how did we make pages continuous? Can you imagine? Uh, the continuous example. We are making pages here and continuous true. So a new parameter to make those loop around. If we didn't have that, then by default, we get the following. Oh, that's the actual one we want open the default browser Here we go we have a local version of it now and there we can't go backwards anymore and when we go through we get to the end and now we can't go forward so that's the default behavior is only going through the pages like so it depends on what you're building i would say really half the time you don't want to continue because that will confuse people like wait a minute did i hit the end of the story this almost looks like the beginning of the story and they can't even remember <laughs> can you remember you know are you <laughs> at the beginning where am i uh, you could have little dots down here the indicator to show you where you are uh, or you could just stop them at the beginning and don't let them go backwards and stop them at the end that's often quite fine at other times, you do want the continuous. So here is what that continuous looks like. Again, continuous true. And when we refresh here, now I can keep on going. And indeed, I can keep on going backwards as well. We didn't make one that lets you not go, or let, makes you not go backwards, but lets you go past it forwards. Uh, whatever. Zim, Zim 23. We'll, we'll add that in Zim 23 when we can't think of it. Brand new. The only thing that we're launching now in Zim 23 is continuous forward, but not continuous backwards. <laughs> anyway, I'm, I'm obviously teasing you. And this has been a, uh, a bubbling at Zim, but uh, just before. Um, we are now at the end here, but there's, first of all, another thing that is coming, and we'll probably add that to the bubblings that, to do with lists. But also under Zim updates, there's a bunch of updates that are not um, uh, sort of main ones there. Actually, there there is a nice update right here called, well, Global's almost is worth talking about on its own, but maybe not. But this one right here, oh, two of them site changes and editor changes. There's been a bunch of things done there and to the kids editor and stuff too. So I wouldn't mind taking you through those in a bubbling and then probably this in a bubbling as well. So this is the uh, data to and from node, node.js. So how to, how to set that up. So why don't we do two more bubblings on that. Then we have this surprise bubbling, which uh, we'll also put underneath the um, uh, these guys here eventually two i think probably another one of these what do you call it tile or something for that one that is based on the tile coincidentally no not on the tile on the list 
And so we'll catch you later. And while I'm here, just uh, come visit us, Discord or forum. We like the forum better. Probably shift these. I was thinking that those were already shifted, but they're not really. So in 16, they were that order. In 15, they were that order. Oh, it was Slack in 15. And the forum in 16, that's when we launched the forum. Uh, probably left it because Discord was always there and then Slack, Discord, Slack. But we tend to use a forum more. We might want to move that just to the left. I don't know if that makes a difference. But come visit us on the forum. We'd love to hear from you. And um, if you have any questions, certainly. I am Dr. Abstract. Have a great day or night. This has been a What's Bubbling in Zimbra. Cheers. <laughs>